This is very rough subfloor. Doesn't even have to be that perfectly clean. Like there's some stuff that has to come up. Like that's a big lump of something. But for something like this, let's say that's there, that'll be okay. That's fine. It'll go. Main thing is in the beginning, just make a very wet surface. Because you're working with fiber and propellant, like a fiber and it's glazed, a dry floor will be um, less able to soak in the glue and you want to be able to uh, think about adhering all the little fibers into the glue base. Rub on glue and acrylic paint, meld well together. There's no rhyme or reason except that you just have to flow with what you're feeling. You can put different pots of color and then just add water and you can have different depths. Or you can start plain by crunching the paper up into the plain glue and water and then adding the paints over. Uh, it's nice if you do different areas with different things. Uh, maybe start with the plain paper, adding the color on top at first, and then crunching the paper bag slabs and soaking them in the vats of um, color and the glue. Uh, it's just almost like uh, like a, sl a Slurpee or a um, maybe a juice kind of consistency, not too thick, but not too thin either. And then adhering it to the floor with your hand by um, washing over it with, uh, and making sure there's no air bubbles underneath. Leaving the little bits of floor if you want to, it's kind of nice to see it. Or you can just put the, you know, the paint over the floor with a little bit of um, extra little pieces if you want to for another look to just continue the same color um, but have some variance. The feature part of the floor uh, can have more texture and then you can go plain to where the furniture is. So it's easy to stop and start because as long as you don't varnish it, if you're varnishing it with um, water-based, then you can still continue on. As long as you keep it water-based. Water-based won't go over oil, that's of trouble, so. Yeah, so I think that's everything. See, that's where the plain paper is in that part of the room where it started and then they're joining together. It's a very forgiving technique. You can add layers and layers even as you live. You know, if some parts of the floor get messed, you can go over it again. Just keep uh, the process in mind and just enjoy and then trust what, even the mistakes, uh, they kind of tend to lead you to a nice direction. Um, I think that's all to tell you. Just uh, make sure that the two coats of everything go on top and that you are not bare thing, you know, dirt or anything on top of it. But uh, yeah, enjoy.